This is an apple peeler, corer, and slicer. I just got it. I've always wanted one. So we get a very consistent cut, very consistent core. You do see a little bit more peeling on either side. You can adjust the peeler arm. This works for potatoes as well. It's made of steel. It has a suction cup handle to grip any surface. You just pull this and it should anchor it. Pulling this will release the screw. This helps you reload an apple on the spikes. This blade at the tip of my finger peels the apple. This spring holds the peeler against the apple. This screw controls the offset of the peeler. If you tighten the screw, the lever moves further back and there's less contact of the peeler on the apple. If you loosen the screw, the peeler moves close to the axis of the core. I suggest adjusting this by a quarter turn and using a sample apple to make sure you get the perfect amount of peeling, but not too much meat taken off the apple. If you don't want to peel, push this entire lever back and use this foot to engage this vertical rail. The peeler arm far away from the apple. This blade it cores the apple in a spiral. If you pull and release, you can move the peeler back into position along its set screw. Adjusting this on your first apple will get the right amount of peeling, but not too much meat taken off your apple. This is engaged or it's tracking on the screw. To reduce slightly the amount of meat that was being taken off, tighten by a quarter of a turn. So this is perfect because we're not getting any unpeeled areas, but we're getting less meat taken off the apple. We're getting a nice spiralized cut and the core is coming through here. Just take the apple off. Perfect core. Spiralized apple. There's a slight bit of peel left on. Loosen by an eighth of a turn. Then pull the core straight off. That's what's remaining. Retract. Done. If you like this video, please subscribe. Have a great day.